thank you for tuning in. This is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting, and today we will be discussing your recipe for financial wellness. As you know, it is recommended that most people consume two servings of fruit and a couple of servings of vegetables per day because these items are good for the body. So today we're going to be discussing your recipe for financial wellness, which consists of items that will represent behaviors that you should implement on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can produce positive results. So we're going to start off with our liquid here and while you're watching that go in the glass I have a question for you what do you want your money to do for you just something to think about now we're going to go ahead and add in a couple of ingredients our first ingredient will represent a growth mindset let me explain what I mean by that if you are an individual that has a growth mindset you believe that the skill of personal finance is something that can be learned. Unlike a person who has a fixed mindset, that individual may believe that just because they come from a financially uh, challenging background and they could be living from paycheck to paycheck today, they may think that that is all their life will ever be. But we know that that is not accurate. Our next ingredient will represent the skill of discipline. It is imperative that you discipline not only your mind, but your actions where money is concerned. One skill in particular may be the art of saving money. Um, we all need to save money because there are items that we know we will purchase in the future. Um, you may plan on taking at least one vacation per year, so it takes money to do that. Another form of saving may be setting aside money in your emergency fund because things will always happen that you do not expect, which will interrupt your cash flow. But if you have money set aside to take care of those unexpected expenses like repairing a car or replacing a household appliance, um, things in your household will flow a lot smoother. Our next ingredient, for example, will be creating a spending plan. Now, I know that's something that you may not enjoy, but being that you work so hard for the money that you do earn, why not do yourself a favor and tell that money where to go and how to act so that it can best benefit you? Now, just because we've done these things, we also need to track our progress as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, and blend these items up because it's all about financial wellness and financial health. Now one of the things that you would never do is add something to your financial wellness recipe that's going to make the taste not be what you desire. And that comes in the form of bad behaviors. So right now my recipe is sweet, but if I added some bad behavior so far as using a credit card like it's fake income, so to speak, or to supplement my income, that's a bad behavior. Or maybe I'll put in a little bit of soy sauce into my financial wellness recipe, and that might represent not ever reading articles or any type of literature related to financial wellness therefore my level of financial understanding it never increases so the likelihood of me incorporating new behaviors into my life probably just won't happen so there you have it ladies and gentlemen just a couple of behaviors that will help you enhance your financial wellness recipe and keep in mind that in order to make sure that your financial wellness remains sweet we need to limit and or eliminate some of those bad behaviors that throw us off our game. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Al Riddick of Game Time Budgeting. And always remember to give your money purpose and direction so it will not misbehave.